good evening and welcome to Crafters TV. Uh, you're joining me, Debbie Fisher, and this is Craft Vault. It's a spooktacular craft vault tonight, so it's going to be exciting. Uh, we've got all things Halloween uh, and maybe a few things that you've seen during the day as well, because it has been one of those days where we've had some amazing things happening. Uh, one being a craft along, uh, which has been uh, just everyone has absolutely loved. Uh, it was a tissue box and uh, made with the most amazing uh, embossing folders uh, and papers which has been great so we'll uh, have a look at the actual embossing folders in a second uh, but I hope you've been joining us today let us know because we are fully social so we're all um, all comments uh, come through to the studio from our lovely Susie she's with us this evening um, and we can uh, read them out and show them even sending you pictures uh, we'd love to see what your Halloween makes have been so uh, if you've got some Halloween uh, crafts whatever crafts you've been doing and you want to show us or maybe decorations um, you could send us in your pictures and we can show them um, but of course I'm not in my oh get social there's our strap below so you can see that so get social with crafters TV and uh, you can send those all into there um, I'm not alone in the studio because we've had the fabulous Jan today um, and what a craft along she did earlier uh, that's gone automatically into our vote for the um, demo of the day uh, in fact uh I'm going to let's go to Jan first Jan did we have a demo this morning of the show in wake up call yes we so did we need to uh, find that I'm not sure what happened to that I know um Ooh, the third oh, it might. shelf oh, it a box? been told in my black ear. Box. Yes, the little yes, black I box. Yes, I can see it. We yes, have got fabulous. it. Brilliant. Uh, and then I've still got the other one over here. And you've got here. your tissue box, yes. yes. Tissue box at the ready in case uh -huh. you get scared tonight. Just in case, yeah. Yes. I brought all my spooky things tonight. Yes. It was like, yeah. So, oh. yeah, got the hats, got the bits and pieces. We were going to dip the lights for you so that I don't know whether the... Oh, hang on. Is, 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 it is might coming. happen. It, it might. You spooky never know. Yeah, don't think it's happening in the studio. Oh, you can just oh, see him. Oh, like that. Just see him, little tiny bit Ooh, there on the desk. A little flick. Oh, he looks just, a bit sinister. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> Love yeah. that. Jan's Ooh. little pumpkin. Love Fabulous. That. Well, it's definitely going to be a spectacular couple of hours, uh, which is amazing. So let's have a look and see who is in with us tonight. Uh, lots of you already uh, coming through. Let's just get to here. Um, uh, Susie's on social tonight, though, so uh, send in all your comments to there, and then we will say our hellos. Uh, but first of all, let's get started. So this morning, you would have seen on Wake Up Call that Jan was doing some demos with the beautiful embossing folders. We also did that amazing craft along with the tissue box which looks beautiful now the embossing folders come in a selection of six if you haven't got to decide you can go for the full six embossing folders at a great price today of 22 pounds or 35 dollars um, you can see all six there which are your um, six piece collection um, of your six embossing folders uh, the first one is the filigree they're all swells so they're just a different type of swell so you've got our filigree swell we've also got our our elegant swell um, or as our Craig would say squirrel um, flourishing squirrels uh, ornamental squirrels well. <laughs> uh, butterfly squirrels and graceful swells which are all beautiful and as I said you don't have to decide you'll get all of those if you go for that whole collection today platinum price £17.60 or $28 so amazing one on those um, right Jen you've got some samples with these I haven't seen many samples because I've been watching your um, shows but not seen the samples uh, that one you've got they there are stunning beautiful. honestly I just think you know I, we've always talked about embossing folders being very underrated you know and a lot of people are like well I'm not quite sure what to do with them but I just think these are superb for so many different ways you know we've done a lot of these with an inked background now if inking's not your thing there are so many different pattern papers out there that you could use behind these you could use the dark card stocks with the gilding wax on them lots and lots of different ways but just making them that sort of focal point and we've added a sentiment of choice to that one just with those lilac tones and then again transforming that into a different colorway different folder 
this one's just had like the little half full so you've got that beautiful swirl inside there and then a little bit of a repetition here just using a, a section of it at the bottom so don't be afraid to cut into it if you were watching the craft along early you'll notice that mine were my panels were slightly smaller than the embossing folders so you know make them work for what you want to use them on it may be that you want to use a sanding block with them so this has been done onto textured cardstock and then sanded back to expose the core so if it's got a white core in the cardstock you can expose that core with the embossing folder really really almost looks etched that's stunning Jan really I, and what is. a different way to use them you would never think they were a corner swirl no. so yeah pop those on both ways and you can see how you can create that you know sort of larger image Love that. again coming back to those ink backgrounds absolutely beautiful adding your embellishments to them just to sort of enhance them that little bit and again you know popping that gilding wax on there if I tilt that so one you've just nice. got that gorgeous shimmer to make it stand out on that one with the silver but again any of the gilding waxes would work on there and then I, I picked this one out because a lot of them are that rectangular shape the, the embossing folders are five by seven but this is my kind of thing I love chopping things up yeah so again making the smaller panels we've got the two there you could split it into three and make that triptych design mm -hmm. but I just think that's a really fun way to actually use them and again this has been done with lots of different inks in the back you can use your shimmer sprays absolutely all sorts of things you know you could actually use the, the glitter glues over the top of it just adding a sentiment a little embellishment I think it just speaks for itself yeah and this is the one oh sorry samples. Debbie I just, I just saw that one on the side that's the one that I made earlier in the wake up call that's lovely. just using the ink and again I've stamped straight on to here mm -hmm. at the front and then just a few little embellishments. And, and what I love about those samples, Jan, is you can make them as clean and simple as you want to, or as extravagant as you want Absolutely. to. And I they love that. They can be grungy, they can be yes. clean, yeah, so many different ways. And throwing all those mixed media pieces at them, especially with our new ink pads, the gold shimmer ones, are just going to look oh, spectacular. Gosh, yeah. Love yeah. them. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Uh, right, we're going to get on to our uh, spooky bits now. So All Hallows Eve, I love this collection. I'm actually quite shocked we've still got it in stock. Uh, and if you've already done everything and you've not bought this collection, make sure you get it and put it away for next year or gift it for Christmas so they can be then uh, crafting with it next year. It's a fabulous collection. It's great for adding embellishments to all sorts of things. There's lots and lots of different pieces in here. Uh, this being one of the dies with that witch and her cauldron and a black cat so that's just one of the pieces uh, we've got another die set here which has got your sort of um, uh, cross skull and crossbone and your spider web and that um, uh, the coffin uh, we've got our happy Halloween die which is a great one especially if you like to do sort of cakes so or little cake toppers put a little cocktail stick die cut that out and put them in your cup in, into your cupcakes they're gonna look amazing I love this little edible another really great one it's your spooky pumpkin it's got all those little pumpkins that go down the side uh, Jan's got some samples and we'll look at these in a little while there's also lovely stamp sets like this which are just gorgeous um, really fun I love this little rabbit in the center this one here uh, wrapped up in the bandages it just really makes me laugh I love that witch's hat as well with the legs just everything about that is such a fun set to have uh, we've also got an embossing folder with stencils as well which is a great one to have so you literally uh, emboss that detail and it, you can literally this one is just putting your gilding waxes on top but if you use a stencil on top of this you can then create just really spooky backgrounds love that one there's also some um, sort of stencils for the ghosts and you get the stamp set this is a great one I mean this is fun for anybody you're getting all your stamp set of all the faces so you can literally stamp in all the fa all the different faces for your ghosts so I love that one brilliant uh, another the stencil here is your fright night and um, so again putting all those different embellishments onto whatever you want them to do I think they're just great to have and then this one I think has got to be such a great one to have in your stash which is the pumpkin treat 
box. Um, a great one to use. You literally uh, draw around the stencil, cut two of those out, and then put them together. It's really, really simple. So love that one. And then we're still going, Jan. It's such a great uh, one. Uh, we've actually got all our little um, pearls and gems there. So you've got your dew drops on one side. Uh, you've got all your gems on there in all those matching colours. And then we've also got the ribbons to match as well uh, in the uh, three different colours in three different sizes. For platinum price, you're getting all of that collection for £30.40 or $40. Absolutely amazing kit, this one. Uh, and a really good giftable item to give to someone as well. Uh, Jan, you've got some samples over there. They're I fabulous. have, yeah. And I've really fallen in love with this this year. It's like we've never been, uh, we've never been big on celebrating Halloween as such. And I know a lot of you guys out there don't follow that sort of trend. Um, but I must admit, I do like all the imagery that goes with it. So I love the spooky house. I love the ghosts, the gravestones and all that. So it's been real good fun playing with all these this year. And, how, and I, I always refer to it as playing. Uh, but yeah, absolutely loved it. So just to show you one or two of the ideas, I think the idea of having the stencil with the embossing folders just brings it to a whole new level. So you've got the embossed layer. So a lot of these items are raised off the, the page but then we've used the stencil over the top to just pick out certain areas and emphasize those with the colors, with the inks, and then added things like, you know, the inside of the pumpkins, the metallic pens, just to bring out the little faces on the pumpkins look. There is a little bit of the glitter uh, on the trees here. So using those extra mediums, we've got the metallic pens in the background here again. We've got the, um, the little bits of accents on the clouds. So mixing and matching those mediums, bringing it into that mixed media sort of zone. I think it's, it's just, I mean, this is just one item out of the kit. So yeah, that was the, um, the embossing folder. And again, a different way of showing <laughs> those ghosties. They're just brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, the fact that you've actually got the stencil and the masks mean that you can either colour the background and mask the little, little ghosties out, or you could actually put the ghosty shapes on and you could mask out the background. So two different ways of using them, but yeah, just really good fun. And the fact that they've got all the different faces on there as well. And then we come to some of those stamps, which I know I said to you earlier, absolutely love this. This one's on like a little wobbler. So mm -hmm. it's just got a little piece of acetate that's been folded behind it, Love just to that. give it like that little bit of a, he's like jumping out and saying boo, isn't he? So really, really cleverly thought out by our, uh, our Julia on that one. And then this guy as well, I think, is this the same? I'm just wondering if this is the same kind of, uh, oh no, this is one of the other team, this is Kerry. Uh, but yeah, this little guy, I'm thinking I might have to use, I've got, I've got one more card to make when I get home for my little, uh, my little grandson next week. Uh, and I think he's perhaps going to be a contender for the front. But I just think he's absolutely gorgeous there, mixing and matching with papers. If you don't have this year's Halloween papers, you know, think about those inky backgrounds and things like that. But again, sort of taking it into gift bags. So we've got the gift bags coming up later that are pre-cut, but why not make your own out of the 12 by 12 paper sheets? decorate them with elements this is that gorgeous little witch hat and, and shoes that that sort of match the i think the larger one with the little one at the side of it would look so cute from the shape card pack again taking it into that next level again this one's absolutely gorgeous who have we got on here um oh there's no oh it is crystal on this one yes yeah. so yeah big shout out to the design team they do a fabulous fabulous job yeah, but all the little icons from the stamp set just popped up in the little pop-up box Love and that. then it folds flat to actually pop in an envelope to go through the post so brilliant idea so taking good. it into your sort of home decor so just using a small section of that embossing folder and then we've popped it in a little frame use some of those corners with the gilding wax and things so yeah lots of different ways and then there's your cake toppers if you are if you are having a little celebration this has just been done on a rosette with the paper we've got the ghosty there and we've just popped it on a little wooden skewer there so you could actually pop it in the top of a cake in a cupcake or it could just be a standalone piece if you wanted them as uh, as decorations there yeah absolutely Fabulous. i love them and don't worry if you haven't got a paper pad because we've got some of those coming up for you as well um susie's in uh, tonight of course she is she's on our socials uh, melanie's saying hello lisa's saying ready for spookiness uh, phil watson's in saying evening all evening all phil uh, panda crafts is saying hello everyone samantha cheney is in saying afternoon everyone uh, barbara's in 
costume from Indiana, handcrafted by Gaz is in this morning, saying good uh, in this evening, saying good evening. Um, Kirsty is in saying good evening, everyone. I've survived the day with my niece, nephew, dog, and cat. You've got a bit of a, a busy household going off there, Kirsty. Uh, Lynn is saying uh, back again for more crafting goodness. Uh, Mary Shaw is in saying hello, everyone. I hope you are enjoying your fry air. Yes, we are. Um, crafting not crafting not grafting uh, by Hillary is uh, saying happy Friday everyone it's still raining in Northumberland yeah it's still raining here I think as well uh, Rose is saying beautiful samples yeah absolutely Mary Pat is saying good morning again uh, Stephanie's in saying good afternoon everyone hi Jan Debbie C TV team and social superstar hello to all my crafty friends Laurie Barnett is saying that price is awesome yes for the uh, all hallows absolutely um, Beth is saying uh, good afternoon and Susan saying I love the papers the Halloween treat bag pad is made from just as papers yeah good idea and actually on that note Susie we do have that Halloween pad it's a great pad to have because it's a bag pad um, and it's such a good idea to have this to uh, make all these little bags it's very very simple to do um, they just get made so so quickly I love the fact that you're getting all the different variations inside they are double-sided uh, you could snip into these because you have so many. In fact, you have 48, I believe. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, 48 double-sided bags and you've got 48 double-sided tags as well. Um, and they come in all these variations of colours uh, double-sided, which I absolutely love. Um, if you've already made your um, Halloween, I think I missed one there. Yeah, that one there. Um, oh, got, oh, I'm keep that. I'm going to pass that to Jan in a minute because I think she can uh, show us how quick and simple they are to make as well um, if you uh, have already done your little bags for Halloween this year uh, don't worry because you can get this pad um, and uh, have it ready for next year which will be amazing uh, great little one to put your sweets into your little gift ideas um, and the kids will love making this out so if you've got any parties going just and there's your tags at the back you've got all your different tags in there I don't know what that is it's like a little sticky sticky bit coming off there um, but your tags there pop up I don't know what that was Jan it looked like someone's um, uh, out of their jumper or something uh, you've got all your little tags that just pop out as well which are amazing it's such a cute little bag 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 pad this one um, and I absolutely love it Jan's going to show us some samples and I'm going to whiz this sheet over to her so she can make one of these up for you so again, you know, sort of really quick and simple crafting, you know, keeping this sort of just with the page out of the pad and one of the tags, you can see how it does all the work. Absolutely gorgeous detail on there. And if I spin it round, I love the spooky house with the moon in the background. Very typically sort of Halloween-y with that, uh, that little spooky house all lit up. So yeah, just keeping it, you know, you might want to pop these together, keep them like this with the tags from the back of the pad, have them for gifts, have them for little treat bags. It might, if you're doing trick or treating or things like that, absolutely gorgeous. But then taking them to that next level with some of the embellishments that are in that All Hallows Eve kit. So it may be that you have the topper pad for the 3D decoupage and you could add that to it we still incorporated the the little tag there but adding some extra embellishments on again we've used elements here you can just see the little witch's cauldron and the bats we've still got a couple of the tags there so yeah lots and lots of different ways to use them we've got the spooky house on this one absolutely fab and then just taking it another step further i love this one i had to be careful how i picked it up because it looks so real but yeah, look at this one with all the little spiders. We've used some of the embellishments that we've also got on the show as well with the fibres. And as I say, there's lots of little spiders hidden in there and it looks so real when it was sat in the basket. I was like, oh, not sure about that. Little ghosties in there, absolutely stunning. And then we sort of spun it round during the other show and used the inside of the pad. So I've actually got the bulk of the decoration on the inside. And we actually used some elements from that All Hallows Eve collection and just decorated it on the sort of less decorated, the, the more plainer side of the paper. So I just wanted to show you, if you haven't come across these yet, how simple and quick they are to put together. So it's literally a case of just taking a page out of your pad, and our Debbie's just brought me one of those across. So again, you've got quite a decorated side, 
and you've got a more plain side. So it depends how you want to work with these, entirely how you want to work with them. And I don't know whether we could probably pick them up better on that side. There is a series of score lines already done in here. So again, wherever you've got a score line, we're actually going to pop those into play. So all I'm going to do is where I've got a score line, just pop it in, give it a burnish. I'm going to skip the next one for now and I'm going to come level with the edge of the bag. And I always make sure again that everything lines up along that top edge. I'm going to come across to the next one and again just make sure it's all in a line and then again to the other edge. So all the lines that are already there, all you're doing is folding and scoring. And you can see how this is going to come round and create, once we've got this one stuck together, that bag shape. Okay. Now you do have an extra score line in the middle of here. Now most of these are what we call mountain folds, so you've got the peak at the top. The ones inside, I'm going to do a valley. So I'm going to do them the other way to put the peak inside there. All right. So it's actually going to go down the opposite way. And then right at the bottom, there are some little tiny triangles. And I'm just going to give that a suggestion of where I want it to go just with my thumb. Same on this one. There is another one down the centre of the side of the bag. And again, where that little triangle is there, I'm just going to, I'm struggling to see that one. There we go. I can see it better on the other side. Just give it a suggestion of where I want it to fold. I'm just nipping that with my finger. And then the last one is all the bottom pieces are scored to fold up to create the bottom of the bag. So you could have a bit of a production line going with these. You know, you could do sort of all one lot of score lines, then you could do the next lot, and then the next lot. If you were batch making, you know, half a dozen or a dozen of these. So we've got everything in place. My recommendation for these is one of our tape pens, so you don't have to worry about any wet glue with it. And the very last piece here that's angled is our glue tab. So all I'm going to do is just gently run my tape runner break that adhesive and then we're going to fold the tab and the side over and then we're going to fold the other piece from the other side and you'll find that they match perfectly. Give that a little burnish and you can see we've got that bag coming together. The ones that we folded in are now going to squeeze in so that you've got the closure at the top of the bag if you wish and then the bottom couldn't be any more simple. Four pieces to it. I usually spread them out so that I can see what I'm doing. Now, you can glue this together if you wish. It depends what you're putting in the bag. If it's only going to be something lightweight, you don't actually need any glue. If you do want to glue it, I'll show you where to put it. So the one with the two legs is going to fold over first into the middle. Then you're going to bring in both sides. And then this one is going to tuck into the gap. Now, if you do want to add glue, I would pop a little bit of wet glue here right on the edge, not all over, just on the edge, and then slot it underneath so that you've got that closure in there. And then just pop your hand inside and it should all go nice and flat at the bottom to stand up. Now, if you're going to put something a bit heavier, I've sometimes cut myself just a rectangle of card, a wee bit smaller than this surface area, and dropped it inside with a little bit of my Collal glue just to stiffen it if you've got anything heavy but if you just pop in little sweets and things in there these are fab as they are so you can see how you've got that bag quite quickly we've got all that detail on the outside and then in the back of the pad you've got that selection of tags maybe a little bit of ribbon or twine from your stash and you're all done if you want to add extra embellishments if you've sat bought into such as the all hallows eve collection or if you've got anything from previous collections you can start adding extra details to those but i just think the whole idea and what i did say earlier was obviously the pad is a consumable so you're going to get through them eventually but save one of them as a template and while it was open flat you can use that on any 12 by 12 piece of paper to draw around and create your own bag out of any papers that you might have in your stash. So you might not particularly want, you might have bought the Halloween bag pad, but you might want one for a different occasion. Use one of the flat bags, open, draw around it, cut around it, and you've got one that you can use in any particular style. 
Yeah, amazing, Jan. Thank you for that. And Olga's had a brilliant idea. She said, I made some of these bags, decorated the outside and filled them with die-cut pieces for smaller kids to decorate the art themselves. Oh, that is a fabulous what idea, What a brilliant isn't idea. It? Yeah. And it's really good. I'm going to do that for my granddaughters because they would love that. Yeah. Especially, I've got the old, old Hallows collection. So die-cutting some of those pieces out, putting yeah. them into one of these bags with a few sweeties. They go, I think that is brilliant, Olga. Thank you for that uh, Kim is saying that she can't wait for her granddaughter um, to be old enough to craft with yeah it's something very special um, have you started crafting yet with oh, your grandson he loves it yeah my yeah. my eldest one's three and a half now Toby and he loves it he's got his own little craft box at Nanny's house and quite often it's a case of can we do some crafting Nanny and he's quite happy sticking pom-poms together he loves anything that's got googly eyes can we make some monsters <laughs> yeah he absolutely loves it he'll come and sit in the craft room with me on my knee and you know he's so good he doesn't touch anything but what's that one for Nanny what's that one do and he loves watching stuff go through the yeah. mini when I'm trying to do it through there. And he's quite happy with the little pieces that come out of there. So, yeah, loves it. The, yeah. the little one's a bit young, yeah. He's just yes. had his first birthday, my little Alfie. Oh. Uh, but I'm sure he will follow suit. Nanny's a crafter. They've got to enjoy the yeah, crafts, Yeah, absolutely. They? Every time my granddaughters come around, that's the first thing we do. We have yeah. to get all the craft stuff out. Uh, if you want to grab those, uh, grab uh, a ba uh, your bag of pads today. You've got your Halloween gift bags. You've got 72 sheets in there in total. £10.90 or $17.95. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> right, linen cardstock. One of my favourites, one of Craig's favourites. I'm sure Jan loves the, oh, um, the, the card as well. The colours in this pack are absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Now, you're not just getting the linen cardstock. You're actually getting the little characters to make the gift bags. Look at these characters. How beautiful are they? I don't know why, because I'm not a big lover of spiders, but I love the spider on this one. I just think it's absolutely fabulous. He's super cute. He's goofy. I love it. He's just brilliant now you can use these as toppers or you can use them to make actual gift bags with as well and having all the colors you need to make them with in this pack is exceptional there are 30 sheets in here and the colors are amazing in fact i'm going to take the colors out to show you because they really are uh, just a great set to have even if you wasn't sure about having the um Oh, doesn't want to come out. There we go. Having the actual uh, dyes. These are going to take you uh, through all the year. Look at that lovely chocolate. We're going into yellows and to reds. Uh, that beauty. That one is it's like a grey, a really a faint grey. It's lovely. Then you're going into your blacks your sort of charcoals, your purples, your greens, your oranges, and then that peach colour. You've got something for every single character on there. And those three characters to make are just going to be so much fun. And I think especially the spider doesn't have to be spooky or Halloween. It could just be a lot of fun to make these characters. The cat doesn't have to be that wizardy cat. It can just be a black cat, which I absolutely love. Uh, Jan, you've got some samples of boxes with these. I They're have, fabulous. yeah. And Lily and I were talking about this this morning when we were on wake up call because we said you know there's a lot of scope to change these into different characters yes. you know we've given you the basic ones here so this is the little pumpkin and again if i just show you behind here it just puts together a gorgeous little gift box that's big enough to pop a few treats in and then you decorate the front with your chosen little character but we said you know there are probably lots of different ways that you could use this with different colors different facial expressions and create your own ideas and yeah i'm not a big lover of spiders but who couldn't love him i know he's just so, so cute, cute <laughs> isn't he he's got the little fluffy hair at the top and i just think <laughs> not like any spider i've ever seen crawling across my floor at, uh, at night yeah when we're feet come up and sit in the chair because you don't want to touch it but yeah <laughs> he's just got that something about him that he looks quite friendly doesn't he he's not scary at all not at but all. we were saying about yeah using this shape maybe in green with some little googly eyes you've mm -hmm. got yourself a monster yeah you absolutely. know so changing them and coming up with different ideas and then you've got the little cat here the little black cat again with the wizard hat you can see it's the same shape as what we used on the pumpkin we've just gone from black to a different colour. There's a lot of mix and match ability, uh, ability yep. here. You can see we've got the brim on both of these. So that's, and, and then I just thought this, 
I'm not sure who's done these. Let's have a look who we've got Jenny on the back of here. Hats off to Jenny because this is exactly what we were oh, talking about, look. about changing the look. Very So, cute. yeah, I just thought these, you know, depending on whether it's black, grey, the tortoiseshell, whatever your kitty is, you could put little kitty treats in here. I think they'd be great for birthday party treats. So, again, you know, you could colour color combine this to a party theme and things like that. And then the one I did the cat earlier, but we went down the, the more of the witchy cat route. And then all I did was cut a strip to add a handle to it. Oh, so this is not cool. in the die set, but it's just a strip of card yep. with my greeting, my little trick or treat on top. But again, we've still got lots of room inside here to pop our little treats in. Love so that. yeah, so much versatility with them and much fun to be had I think especially if you're crafting with the Littleys as well yeah absolutely so if you want those today to get all those characters you're getting all those dies to create them with and your pack of linen cardstock you can grab those all for platinum price £18.40 or $23.20 I think that's an absolutely great deal and you definitely want those so use the dies uh, and uh, for all year round as well as the cardstock as well uh, right we're getting very busy out there so we're going to allow you or let you allow you of course we're going to allow you, we're going to let you check out your baskets. Um, but let's have a look at a little video by our Ben. A few weeks ago on a show, we were talking about places where all you guys lived. Well, we might have used Google Earth just to have a bit of a sneaky look at the village, town or city that you lived in. And I thought it might be quite funny if I wrote a little ditty and I put on my Facebook page. Where do y'all live? And I'll 50 towns and cities and village into my little song. But I didn't realize that there would be about 425 responses So I'm gonna cram as many places into this song as I can But I won't get them all in We craft everywhere, man We craft everywhere From over here to there, man We craft everywhere In crafters we've got our share, man We craft everywhere we crept in Lydney, Limbrook, Launceston, Lehanna, Tampa, Darlington, Alma Beach, Sedalia, Wills Point, Witness, Wildwood, Wild Amos, Chautauqua Lake, Walkerburn, Yate, Bay, Hesperia, Sublimity, Pinho, Avon, Freeport, Mableton, San Jose, Annam Club, Great Bend, Detroit, Peniston. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Crafting Parachute, Paradise, Pilots, Pope, Apelion, Sheets of Basin, Petersburg, Seacom, Sutton, Saturn, Bristol, Brighton, Brooklyn, Blackwell, Barnsley, Tide Street, South Shield, Tampa Hills, and Bentley, Tampa Villa, Tucum, Cary, Ottawa, Hull, Harrisburg, Lexington, Tupelo, Cincinnati, Austinburg. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Grabbing Luxahatchee, Lakesville, Lawrence, Lacey, Livermore, Albuquerque, Wiki, Washi, Pentecostal, Elsmore Park, Mechanicsburg, Williamsburg, Rebello, Houston, Burlington, Wet Wang, Market, Drake, Yelm, Effort, Wellington, Wapaka, Nita, Homer, Sassa, Santa Rosa, Wichita, Honolulu, Riverdale, Melbourne, Comer, Spinta, Now nah, we craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Grab Newton Abbott, Newton Abbey, Richmond, Dudley, Georgetown, East Kilbride, Eugene, Farron, Bramwick, Walkerstown, Newaheim, Fort Wayne, Gloucester, Chester, Long Beach, and Raphael, St. Dominic, St. Cloud, St. Augustine Beach, Sand Springs, Romford, Tulsa, Traverse City, Wesley Chapel, Ballarat, Medina, Rampo City. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Grafting Sarbrook and Tucson, Kashami, Philadelphia, Chicago, Las Vegas, Biloxi, Lafayette, Elmira, Glendale, Scottsdale, Anchorage, and Hurtville, Seattle, Gold Canyon, Ipswich, Cumber, Unionville, Toledo, Miami, Atlanta, Cleveland, Gold Canyon, Altoona, Kaloon, Dufford, Orange, Club, Horizon, Sun. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. And there's a few more places I didn't manage to get into the song. West Runton, Newcastle, Kingswood, Sandbach, Carlisle, Cobb, Butley, Albury, Durham, Springfield, Ashington. We crafted in Greenville, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sumter, Oak Park, Winchester, Nap Hill, Stoke on Trent, Mount Pocono, Greenville, Charlotte, Oxon Hill, Tunbridge Wells, Modesto, Haverhill, Sierra Vista, Arathebo, Morgantown, O'Fallon, Aurora, Black Forest. We crafted in Hermiston, Brownsburg, Henderson, Sakara, Fort Myers, Madden, Home, Hilliard, Farmingdale, East Moline, Summers Point, Calgary, Charleston, Sawston, Malden, Galloway, Fitchburg, Hope. 
Oakland, Aberdeen, Winstead, Castlewood, Chatsworth, Limestone, Victoria, Willoughby, Rockland, Canton, Falmouth, Canistota, Lindahurst, Ashbourne, and Cluj, Napoca. Oh yeah. yeah. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Hello, you lovely lot. Welcome back to Crafters TV. I uh, hope you enjoyed the song. We love that. I know lots of you, that's your favourite. Um, mine's the uh, Crafty Can Can. I said, what's yours, Jan? Have you got a favourite song oh, that you love? The um, Crafty Man Can, the original one. Oh, with, okay. With Craig. Yes, with Craig. I love that one. I know that was the very first one yep. that he did, but I still go back to that every the crafty time. Crafty Man, might yes. Do a Facebook Live. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, Ben's promised us he's working on a Christmas song as well, Ooh, which he wants to get us all involved all with. I know, uh, it's just, you know, we're not working him hard enough, maybe. <laughs> I didn't mean it, Ben. Uh, right, we're going to go on to uh, something that I absolutely loved this year. I've never seen anything like these before, and I think they're absolutely gorgeous and really, really good fun to do. So these are, are um, they're like a creator card die so they create the actual cards you can make boxes out of these cards out of these toppers uh, they're just going to be amazing to use and you're getting lots of dies in here and we've got a great price for you tonight on these in our craft vault platinum price under 20 pounds in the uk 18 pounds 40 um or 23 20 in dollars for our us viewers um i love this one it's just got that really large pumpkin so you've got the big pumpkin's eye and then it's got all the additional things that you can put on there including your little sunflower at the top there and just really great stamps to use as well so I absolutely love that one but this was the one that everybody loved this year this witch's hat with those legs and boots I just think is amazing genius, wasn't it? it was genius yeah. it's, I, I mean who I don't know who designed it but it is absolutely fabulous so you've got all your stamps to go with there you've got all these dies you've got your cobwebs that boot the witch's hat everything you need to be creating that and now you can make them as a freestanding card or make her into a box or just put her as a topper on a, a, on a bag um, I just think it, they're absolutely amazing um, you've got some samples with these haven't I you Jan? Have, and I've tried to cut, sort of look at a range of them as well to give you lots of ideas so yeah the concept like Debbie's just said was a shaped card uh, and a little bit later in the show I'm going to show you how we arrive at that uh, but yeah this is the pumpkin one and what we've done is we've created the card blank in the background there and then we've decorated it with all those sets of dies and bits and pieces the sentiments absolutely stunning but then taking that to different levels so um if you're not keen on the you know just cutting out in plain i thought this is genius this has actually been cut out of patterned papers that's fabulous so that's our plaid pads and I just think, I don't think I would have ever have thought of no, that. No, so me neither. off to Alison because I think that is just genius. Yeah. And then using those little sunflowers in the background, we've got a little bit of, uh, I think we've got one of them on the move here where it's been in the, in the box. But that yeah, is a lovely stunning card. Stunning on yeah. a, a Z-fold card. Really, really cleverly used pieces. So using those template, those dies to create the uh, aspects. This one's got a little bit of both. Now, this is actually one of my favourite shapes from the original template library pack i love the little rocker stepper yeah. card so you can just see we've got some movement in there but this has actually <laughs> got the pumpkin in the background and in glitter card but we've also i love the little witch's boots yeah. sticking out of there <laughs> so yeah mixing and matching cutting some of the pumpkins in the pattern paper again absolutely love that idea and you've got that dimension with that one but it also folds you know reasonably flat there to post and then again if you're wanting to take these to another level we've actually used those metal pieces to do the die cutting but we've just sandwiched a little gift box inside oh, as well fabulous so again you know popping one on the front with the more decoration We've just used the back one with some paper on. And again, you've got nice little trick or treat baskets or gift baskets or however you want to use them. So that's the pumpkins. And then again, the concept behind 
that the dies were to make the little shape card. So again, this is one I did in a previous demo where we just used the hat without the legs. And again, you can see I actually showed you how to make this into a little card. Maybe use your metallic pens to write on the inside on the black. But you can see how easy that is to do. And then again, taking those to that next level by adding them onto a card front there. And you can just see it, as I say, it's genius. Absolutely love it. There's been so <laughs> many designs made with this one over the course of our sort of Halloween crafting period this year. And then this is the one that I did as a craft along on one of my previous visits. And I've made a, a sort oh, of, it's a gate Jan, card. that's brilliant. <laughs> and I've put the hat on the belly band, left her boots on the card. And then when we open it up, we've just used a die cut of the hat to stamp oh, our sentiment brilliant. inside I've never as well. seen that before. Yeah, we did this one as a craft along. Oh, I think I, I had that. two craft alongs in one day, if I remember rightly. Oh, OK. And they were both Halloween based. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, and I just thought, again, a little bit of fun. Yeah, And I love the brilliant. fact that this will sort of slide back on and you can position this sort of over her boots to give you that effect of them both together there. So, oh, yeah, just lots that. of different ways to use them there. Really good fun. Love those. So nice. I was just actually thinking, I was looking at them. Um, I never knew there were so many different coloured pumpkins. This oh, year, yeah. Yeah. there seems to be like, they're rife with different colours. Yeah. Whether they're white, green, brown, I uh, think there's orange. even a purpley shade one as well. Yes. Yeah. Where's that all come from? It's like uh, steaming up, steaming up. Um, right, so if you want to go for those, at uh, £18.40 platinum price or £23.20 um, if you're in that platinum price. So great one for those two. And you get all of those dies to be really creative with those. So love that one. Uh, now, if you love your Halloween and you love your embellishments, we do have some amazing bits for you. I love these. Um, these fibres are like nothing I've ever seen before. They're just a fabulous way of adding lots lots of different detail uh, into something and they're absolutely great. You've also got some glitters in this pack as well. So for both of these, your fibres and your glitters in your black and your, uh, your clear um, are t uh, seven pounds or 10 pounds, which is, a, that's amazing. Wow, what a good saving that is. Platinum price, five pounds 60 or $8. Uh, I absolutely love this, Jan. Have you worked with these fibres? I have. And it's quite addictive. Yes. It really is quite addictive. And you sort of find yourself going around the house thinking, what else can I put it on? Well, I threaten my husband that if he sat still too long that I might drape a little bit over him as well. But yeah, you know, sort of like, we've, we've sort of dressed them as Halloween fibres, but there's nothing to stop you use these in lots of different occasions. So I'm going to bring a couple of Halloween bits in first. Uh, that's where the sort of the idea came from. But again, it's, it's like nothing I've ever come across. It's not like cotton wool. No. Uh, it's got its own sort of... And, and honestly, the pack that you get, you think, oh, OK, you take it out of the pack. But when you start looking at it, it spreads yeah. and it opens and it's absolutely stunning. So whether you want to decorate, there's probably enough in one of the packs to decorate a window for Halloween. We've obviously popped it into our crafting. And you can just see, if I tip this slightly, the little house there has got some of the glitter on the roof as well. You can just see in there where it's catching the light. So yeah, making home decor projects. Again, this one's been done on a little MDF uh, heart using some elements from that topper pad. We've got a little frame on there and I can see some embossing in the background. And again, just a little bit of those fibers woven over it just makes all the difference. And then we've added glitter. You know, don't be afraid to add to your sort of decoupage and things like that. Absolutely stunning. But then moving more away from Halloween, what about using it, I think this is great, using it as the froth on the tankard there. So, you know, if you're wanting to celebrate a birthday or an occasion like that, it can be the froth. You could bring it into Christmas cards and use it for, I'm thinking, Santa's beard and things like that. It would work for. And again, I've got a little bit draped along this one. This is using some of our die cut images. And just draping that little bit of it, it, it brings another sort of texture towards it. Again, you're sort of dabbling in that mixed media aspect. And those glitters, again, second to none. This is actually a little wood slice that's been decorated. But just look, oh, look at, at that, that sparkle in the background there. Absolutely stunning. 
really really nice That's and then pièce resistance i couldn't i couldn't not do this one and i've just noticed the name on here and it's a name that i've not seen for a long time these are done by our cheryl and again i'm just going to move these out of the way because this is actually like um a perspex piece here at the back but all the stamping and colorings had had the uh, the glitter wow attached to it as well That's so again incredible. just using a little bit of glue that dries clear and yeah. then adding your glitter to it so i would recommend something like the tacky glue and all we've done is just go along the feathers here then pop your glitter over the top shake off the excess and we've also used it to make the little uh, i don't know if you can see the little almost like little glitter dots in the background That's as well amazing. so very very versatile and lots and lots of different things to use them for yeah they're absolutely great i'm just reading some of your comments out about um the last lot of dies we just showed you uh with the spider um susie sam we named the spider jimmy in honor of you know who <laughs> yeah poor jimmy our spider that met uh, met the the boots of ben <laughs> oh dear <laughs> uh, roseanne said she loves your hat jan oh. uh, susie sam the spiders can be used in so many different animals green for oscar the grouch Blue for Cookie the Monster, pink for Elmo, light brown for Alvin and the Chipmunks. <coughs> Fabulous, yeah. Absolutely. Mary Beth is saying, hi again, late from running errands between shows, needed to get uh, little boxes of tissues to do the craft along. I <laughs> uh, love that, Mary Beth. And Kay is saying, make the spider into a cookie monster and put some homemade cookies oh, in the bag. Oh, that would be a good one as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Love that idea. Um, Kay is saying, I'm making those pumpkin cards right now. I'm doing the easel card that Lily, Lily demoed. Amazing. Uh, Mary Beth is saying, Crafty Man is my favourite. But I do love the new birthday song. Yes, absolutely. Um, Susie says she agrees. Crafty Man, Craig, you're still my favourite. But the new ABBA song is a close second. <coughs> I'm going to have to take a sip of water. You very much excuse me, otherwise I can't speak. You know when you get a dry throat? Very, very sorry about that. Uh, right, keep your comments coming in. And if you've got your pictures, then we'd like to see those. So to get your black and um, clear glitter and your embellishment fibres, uh, make sure you grab those because they're at an amazing price today. Now, something else that we've got. We've put this together. This is our Centura Pearl. And we have the most amazing colours that have been put together, especially for Halloween. So you've got all these spectacular colours, uh, which I love. You've got your darks here. Now your darks offer you all those different colours, <coughs> all those different colours in your dark centura rappel. You've then got that amazing teal colour just hiding in there. Those reds, those oranges, those sort of mint colours and you've also got Jan's favourite which is that black centura rappel. Sexy black. Sexy black as she calls it. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. I love all these colours. So if you're making Halloween projects, but actually all year round crafting, the darks in this pack are just extraordinary. They've got sort of a really dark brown in them. You've got that purple in them, really dark reds. Love all the colours that you've got on there. We're doing the whole packs with 90 sheets in total for an amazing platinum price of £20 or $28. So absolutely love those ones. So grab your cardstock in your Centura Pearl. Uh, right next, we've got a few little items on the website that uh, you can go and find. Uh, they're spooky deals and they are amazing. The first one we've got for you is our Constantina Shutter Card Kit. Uh, this one is the Joys of the Season. There is, there we do this for $17.49 or $20.96. You're saving 30% on that one with a platinum price of £13.99 or $16.77. Uh, great kits to do that one and you've uh, got 50 pieces in there allowing you to do 25 different cards. They come with envelopes as well. Uh, next one we've got is our colourable creator card. Uh, this one is our beautiful butterfly. Look at that price, half price deal. Platinum price £5.19 or £5.19. $5.99. That's a great one if you love to colour in because you've got a really good butterfly stamp, but also you can die cut it out. 
We've also got some mount board. I mean, the picture says it all. The picture is outstanding. Uh, 20 pieces of mount board. <laughs> this is our seven and three quarters by 10 and three quarters, 20 pieces there. Take my word for it, you will get it. Um, $8.99 or $9.97. You're getting that half price, which is a great deal on there. So grab that spectacular deal. Uh, we've also got an eight by eight stamping platform with the magnetic base. Uh, this is one of our absolute must-haves in the studio. Every, we all love using it. It's just a great tool to have and to have it at this price, uh, saving 20% is a great deal. Platinum price $15.99 or $25.57. Now, if you love your colouring and you want to go up to that new level of colouring, uh, why not try our Illustrator pen? We have a 12 pen set uh, in sketching. Uh, so all those colours that you expect in skin tones, it's just amazing in the sketching one uh, which, uh, we've got these on offer for $17.49 or $31.49 saving 30% your platinum price on then is £13.99 or $25.19 now you had your mount board what about some jigsaw dies to cut into that mount board these are absolutely amazing you're getting your star one it's that jigsaw and it's half price platinum price $5 uh, sorry £5.19 and $9.50 one a uh, great one to have with that mount board which is incredible Right, we're going to go back to our embossing folders. These are proving very busy. Uh, you're absolutely loving them and uh, we love them too. I know Jan loves them. If you missed the craft along earlier at 3 p.m., go back and watch it because uh, Jan did an amazing tissue box. So it was a tissue box holder that holds your tissues. Uh, obviously, you can adapt it to whatever box you've got, but the actual uh, making of that box uh, was quite simplistic in its design which makes it a really good craft along project for you to follow uh, and it means that you can go back you can rewind you can pause you can rewatch it I absolutely love the uh, tissue box it will go in our vote of the day later on um, and you'll be able to vote that against one of uh, Jan's creations from wake up call uh, now you're getting six in this collection you've got your graceful swells you've then got your butterfly swells love that one absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> we've then got our ornamental swells swells then we've got our flourishing swells love that one as well i love all of these actually we've got our elegant swell which is the one jan used actually on that craft along and then we've got our filigree swell as well you're getting all six of those folders today for the amazing price of 22 pounds or 35 dollars uh, platinum price 17 pounds 60 or 28 dollars uh, so make sure you grab those ones uh, now we're going to head over to jan in just a second because i can see a beaver in a way um have you got something to show us with these i'm folders? just gonna pop one of these through the um the oh, machine amazing. because i just want to show you the quality even though we're talking 2d <coughs> embossing uh, i just want to show you the quality of that embossing so all i've done is i've just found i've just been rifling through the uh the cardstock that i've got down here to the right of me and i've just found some gorgeous <laughs> Miri card which will show this up beautifully so it is the same folder that I used uh, for my demo earlier and this is Flat. actually the flourishing Flat. swirls <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this in and pop it through our um, <coughs> Gemini i am just found my plates there so I just need my two outside cutting plates <coughs> and pop that in are you all right my lovely over there she's having a right little uh, moment aren't you so i'm gonna pop that in there so again 2d embossing just needs whatever your machine you're using just needs your two external cutting plates and jan's ocd has to have those the right way around so that we can read them and i'm going to pop this inside sandwich it in there and we're just going to pass that through just to show you the quality i'm not going to make a finished project just want to show you the quality of that embossing we're used to seeing now now more recently the 3d folders and all that sculpting but i just think even with a 2d folder you can get that gorgeous embossing now these will actually fit through your junior they will also fit through the gemini midi if you have the midi as well so again if you're going through the midi it wants to go through as it is with your purple shim just to pop that through yeah all right so that's how it goes through but again on the mirror card if you oh, have wow. a look that's at that amazing. embossed detail there it's just stunning that see is me. stunning don't want to see my ugly mug in there 
absolutely so can gorgeous. Can I ask, Jan, I know you've done that on mirror card. So do these, because there's a lot of blank space, <clears throat> can you do like techniques such as your letterpress? Yes. So that absolutely. would work, even though there's a lot of blank space around Absolutely, it. yeah. You would still get, depending which way around you do this, if you want to have um, the embossed area stay, for example, if it was white card, the embossed area stay white, you would actually ink up what I call the flat side <coughs> of the folder. So this has got a very, very flat area here right. with that recessed cut out part in here. So what happens is if you put the ink on this side, you will get all this plain area, will have that pickup of ink. Right. And then it will push your white card stock through to give you the swirls. If you wanted to go the other way around and, and ink up just the raised area on your embossing folder, what would happen is on the reverse, you can see that lovely debossed area. You could use the debossed side and it would push the ink into that debossed area. So you would get this part stay white and the ink would push into this area. And if ever you're unsure as to which side to ink up, my recommendation would be to ink both of them. Pop some white card inside, pop it through your machine, and then you can decide which, which side you like the best uh, as far as your um, letterpress technique is concerned. Yeah, Love that. And I suppose with a brayer, you can put it on with a brayer, but I was actually, when you turn that card over, and I've never done it before, but you could brayer over the top of that card, couldn't you? Absolutely. And then the if you did stay. a brayer, you could actually pick up that flat surface again. Yeah. There is a technique. This one's not quite so deep. I would probably do it with a 3D folder, yeah. but there is a technique called grouting, where, for example, if you've got the glitter paste, you could drag it across the embossed area and it fills the gaps. Yes. So you sometimes get a little bit of sort of halo around it, but mm -hmm. I don't mind that. I think it all adds to it. And again, it's sort of broaching that mixed media yep. sort of uh, line. But yeah, so many different ways. I think we've said before many times that embossing folders are possibly quite underrated, but yes. they make a beautiful, beautiful background. Yeah, just now, as you've done that, I thought there's so many hmm. different things you can do. Oh, I like that idea now, as well. Now, what I wanted to do, well, just well, and this is me, my mind thinking now, because we'd always say to you, don't put something back through the machine because obviously if I put this back through there's a danger of it squishing mm -hmm. this side but just out of curiosity I'm going to do it and see what happens yeah, all right absolutely. it may be that it flattens that first mm -hmm. side but let's just have a look while we can and see if we can do the double emboss this is why I love crafters uh, yep. TV because it's literally we love to just try out things you get these your brain starts ticking but, oh, if we can do that and that's why we value your comments your questions because we are willing to try anything <gasps> let's have a look down so naturally, the amount of pressure in the Gemini is going to flatten that first piece. Oh, but we have still, still got nice, the detail there. You can still see in this corner, like this was it. the one that we did first. Mm. You can still see all that detail. It is flattened a little bit, but then we've got the lovely raised area. I so it is possible... That you know, to sort of double them up yeah. and do the two different pieces together. I really love Absolutely that. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I actually it? think that looks nice, one flatter or yes, one it's, raised. Yes, it's, it's sort of yeah. echoing, isn't it? It's almost like sort of like a positive and a negative. It, it's like a posh wedding stationery. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine, like, I, I'm thinking now, my, my brain's going now into a vellum, piece of vellum across the middle, wrapped round the back, with a nice greeting stamped on the vellum. Oh, yeah. And like you said, they would make beautiful uh, wedding stationery, wouldn't they? Something I like absolutely that. love yeah. that. How amazing is that? Um, I know lots of you are coming in tonight. So uh, Susan's saying, I love that rocker card. Kathy is saying, I love those samples. Um, mm, I'm wondering if you use the gilding wax on white or black card with the double embossed, and then you could tell which one was flatter um, yeah I think if you applied gilding wax to the first one it would you would still see that effect um, yeah. yeah it yeah. would just flatten it it would just flatten it out a bit but that would keep you would be able to see then what you've put it on to. or you so could do the gilding wax first yes you could gild it mm -hmm. first with the gilding wax so like pass it through once and gild that side give it a buff it's not a wet product so it's not yeah. going to damage your embossing folder then turn it around and do the second side and then you've already got that one gilded and then you could do the one that's more raised so yeah. again lots of different ways and this is what I love playing around with it's sort of like 
People ask us lots and lots of questions and we welcome your questions. That's part of the reason we're here to interact. Don't ever think, you know, the thing, oh, to think it's a silly question. There is no such thing. Absolutely. But sometimes it, it sparks off ideas in us as well, you know, and it was just a case of, right, well, let's try that and see what happens. The rule of thumb is don't pass embossing back through your, fault, through your Gemini because it's going to flatten it. It makes sense. But we still got a really nice effect with that, even though it's been through the machine twice. I'm yeah. quite happy with that. I like that effect. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. I love that one. Uh, if you want those six folders, they are incredible. You can get them for £22 or $35. I'll quickly run through them. You've got your filigree swell. You've got your elegant swells. You get your flourishing swells, your ornamental swells, your butterfly swells, and then we've got our graceful swells. So you absolutely love those ones. If you have just joined us, welcome to Crafters TV. Uh, I've got a plaid pad for you. Uh, this one is amazing. Uh, now, we are in our spectacular um sort of hour where this is all about uh, your um sort of crafts for halloween um so even though these aren't for your halloween we've just seen this one that uh, jan was uh, showing earlier on the pumpkins um one of them was cutting out the pumpkins out of this plaid pad i would never have thought of doing know, that in a million years and it looked stunning and didn't it looked it? amazing didn't yeah. it so uh, maybe you could find that sample for us jan i will i'll have uh, a rummage let me just pop it. downstairs but they are absolutely find beautiful and these are the papers that you're getting in here I'm joined tonight with Jan she has been uh, showing us all things uh, spooky uh, over the other side with all those samples which is beautiful mm. but you are getting so many gorgeous designs in this plaid pad it's beautiful the blue tones those sort of aqua tones the sort of greeny blues absolutely love them such a good one to have um, Jan's got that sample uh, and absolutely I would never have thought to use this I would this never pad. Ever, honestly yep. hats off to Alice a member of our design team and I just think this is actually a combination we had two of the plaid pads we yes. had the warm tones and the cool tones mm -hmm. so we've got a mixture here but just the one that Debbie's got there you can see these sort of more blues and purples and I just think that honestly I, that blew my mind that I just thought what a brilliant idea how striking does that look and I would never have thought of cutting it yeah. out of the papers at all absolutely really and cleverly thought out that very one. clever very clever it definitely gives me lots of thought for different die cuts that you yeah. can use this pad with uh, if you want to go for the plaid pad it's $12.99 or $16.99 uh, platinum price £10.39 or $13.59 um, as our James has just said we're in the witching hour uh, which is because of Jan looking like a witch over there at the other side of the studio um, and we have have some um, some lovely uh, I was gonna say mirror it's not mirror cardstock it's pearlescent cardstock and glitter cardstock I love this pad I think to have a 12 by 12 with glitter cardstock luxury glitter is absolutely amazing it's our sparkling silver now what you've got in this is this beautiful I mean look at the shine on this it's double-sided pearlescent 12 by 12 cardstock it's 250 GSM which is amazing and then it comes with a tone of the silver glitter oh it's just beautiful I'm trying Stunning, to put the two pages it? together so let me just just get one page here so we can pop that together like that those two together crafting with are amazing you've got that amazing tone and then you've got that silver which is in that sparkly mirror card which is amazing uh, you can actually emboss your mirror card and sand it back uh, which would look stunning it's just a great pad to have you're getting 24 pieces 12 of your pearlized uh, cardstock and 12 of your glitter cardstock uh, and we've got that today for platinum price of 15.99 or 18 dollars 39 absolutely love that one right the next thing we're going to go to is something we had in the hour before and it's our all hallows eve kit um our all hallows was a 
fabulous collection uh, that we had come to us with so many gorgeous things that you can craft with and what I really loved about these uh, this collection is that there's so many bits that you can put into other crafts um, I like the witch for example these are great for kiddies storytelling um, and I love the idea of what someone said before they've put all the die cuts into your little gift bags because these are the sort of thing that kids can uh, put onto something and start telling that story with so we've got our wickety witch we've also got our trick-or-treat dies so you've got all your extra uh, pieces uh, in there uh, you've also got your happy Halloween so you've got your uh, word die you've also got your uh, pumpkins which is your um, edgeable could think of the word then edgeable die going down the side we've also got the, an amazing which is called boo to you a uh, set of stamps which i adore i think these stamps are absolutely great you've got the witch like the die cuts that we had earlier so you've got the stamp sets to go along with that you might make one of those um cards and then have that as a little tag on there uh, we've also got an embossing folder in here which has got your stencils so a really great one to use on that one i love this i think that's that uh, embossing folder is uh, a great one to have and putting just your gilding wax on makes it look amazing but if you was to uh, use your um, stencils over the top you can really highlight all those different pieces in there it's a great one a really great one to have uh, then we've got our fright night which is those ghosts uh, I love this one because you've got the yin and the yang so you've got the outer and the inner part uh, to uh, go round so you can use them as templates and then you've got the stamp set with all the different faces six different faces that you can stamp onto them I think that's a fabulous set again crafting with the kids they're going to absolutely love that we've got another stencil then which is your uh, next fright night one so stenciling all these different pieces all these little spiders and ghoulies and everything it's just amazing love that and then this one is just perfect it's the pumpkin treat box super easy to do uh, you literally just cut around the template cut two of these out pop them together uh, and it makes a really cute little box uh, Jan you've got some bits with these to show us cut one of the uh, the edgeables for you again just so that you can see them for real as to what they look like and how straightforward it is so this is the spooky pumpkins and if you're not familiar with that term edgeable what these are designed to do is cut on the edge of a card so you can see here on the uh, the sample on the front here we've got our card fold at one side and then we've got these gorgeous sort of like the faces on them just make me want to chuckle and this has been cut out with the die so what happens with an edgeable is that it only has a cutting edge around one half of the die so for this one for example it starts at the top here and it goes and cuts around the outside edge here of all the uh, the different pieces and then it stops at the bottom so anything along this side is going to stay attached to the card so all I've done is I've just cut a piece of black cardstock down to six by six basically which we can't get the whole six by six because ours is only 11 and three quarters and a whisker of a whatever long so i'm not too worried that this is shorter because i'm going to cut this against it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop the pumpkin edge with the die cut edge to the outside edge of the card and then i'm just going to marry it up i'm going to use the grid on my craft mat to make sure it's reasonably straight here so if i just pop this onto the craft mat like so and then I'm going to line it up, just pick one of the lines on the, the, the mat here and literally line it up and tape it down. Now this would be a great one if you like paper piecing. I'm just thinking the black card here with maybe some of that gorgeous orange Centura pearl behind it or the orange card stuck from the um, festive pack, the fall pack. So all I'm going to do then is pop this on here and I'm just going to turn it at a slight angle. So whenever I've got anything straight like this, if it's straight on your mat, when the rollers come towards it, you've got that bit of a jump. And occasionally I've had it knock the die, but not very often. It does occasionally. If you've got it taped down, it should be safe. But just by tilting it that little bit means that the roller is going to hit the corner first and you'll get a smoother transition through your machine. So again, thin metal dies need our normal sandwiching. So I'm going to add in my frosted shim, my magnetic shim, and then pop my top plate on. And then we're going to pass that through our Gemini. So that's going to take out all the cut pieces for me. 
and this would look great in any of those um, colours that we showed you in that textured pack would look fab who says that a pumpkin has to be orange? Like you were saying, Debbie, there are lots of different colours about this year, aren't there? Absolutely. I was really shocked. And maybe that, I don't know whether I've been living under a rock, Jan, but I've never seen pumpkins the colours they've been this year. <laughs> right, so let's have a little look then. We have got, you can see where the edges come away there. And then if I just run either your pokey tool or if you've got the dye brush, you can actually do the same with that but just to take the pieces out of there and we'll get that idea of what it's going to look like and I just think something like this on the edge of a card just takes your cards to another level there yeah absolutely so again just take the uh, the little piece I'm not going to pop them all out you get the idea with them but um, it would probably be a bit quicker with my dye brush but again just taking these out you can see where it's cut through I do love this edible it's quite um, unique I've never seen one like this before yeah it's sort of almost got a bit of a, a cartoony look to it hasn't yes. it yeah absolutely and I know some of the samples that uh, people sort of use acetate on the back they paint yep. a piece some of the bits in um, lots of things that you can be doing with it I think it's a great one to have or even just some really vibrant bright coloured cardstock behind it yeah I think it perhaps just needed my metal shim I've got a little bit in the middle there that's not actually um, cut all the way through so I think the delicacy of it would have benefited having the metal shim yes. in there as well yeah, uh, which I didn't think about at the time so I'm not going to risk ripping the centerpiece there it was just in the middle here I can tell that some of these are not quite gone all the way through so and yeah, actually just, I suppose we've got that reverse function of the Gemini we could have just absolutely it in and you give it two it. passes through there yeah so I think the metal shim underneath there to cut would probably have, have just benefited there's just that last little bit in the center which I'm not going to fuss about too much but if I show you this now if you can imagine putting your different colors underneath there yeah I so, love you know, that that's just putting the white under there but maybe as I say the orange underneath yeah if you wanted to go on paper piece you could actually do them all in a different color you could have a rainbow of pumpkins you could have them true to life so many different ways but it just adds that little bit of a, a different feature to the front of your card there just to show you how those edibles um, go to work yeah I love that it's so amazing that and that's just one again, little thing you know. from that collection that you could be using on there uh, which I absolutely love uh, also I didn't point out that you do get ribbons in there and you do get your gems as well in fact your gems come in your dewdrop gems which you can color in with whatever color you want alcohol pen and then it also comes with your uh, purples greens and oranges um, of your um, actual gems there so that and all that die set is amazing you're getting all of that for 38 pounds or 50 dollars um right let's pop that to the side because we do have dun, dun, dun. we've got a showstopper a halloween showstopper uh, this one is amazing and an amazing price when you see what you are getting uh, i love this pad this is what i would call a grown-ups pad for halloween it's not cutesy this has got some really lovely quite spooky sort of uh, scary um sort of pieces in here which i absolutely love um this one i was looking at yesterday and i was saying to bed it looks like the candles were moving in the back i just think that is so spooky and illustrated so well we've got an amazing design team uh, that do these pages and every single page you look into you see something different in here this one is just incredible there's lots of spiders i mean if you don't like spiders then stay away from this pad because it has lots of spiders in it uh, it's a pretty spooky one and i love it i think it's great if you just want to do some some wall decor for Halloween put some in the windows gonna look fabulous snip into it cut into it do all your trick-or-treat uh, scrapbook pages with it it's gonna be a great one to have so many lovely double-sided pages uh, which really do scream out Halloween I absolutely love it really a great paper pad to have and something that little bit different and if you're going for that All Hallows collection uh, that's a great one to have as well that's just one of the items the other thing you've got is your trick-or-treat treat topper pad 
Uh, again, another fabulous one because what you've got here is you've got 15 pages of die cut toppers, which means they will just pop out. Each one offers you pages of all these different toppers, which literally just pop out. I mean, this one you can see has been, oh, it's not many left on that one. Look, it's all been used. But literally, they are um, 3D toppers. So you just pop them out, layer them on top of them. They're uh, decoupage toppers. Let's find. You've got, I think you've got five sheets of each, uh, which is uh, really, really good. There's our next set there. So you've got your um, sort of spooky scene there with your uh, witch, uh, not your witch, your witch's cat, should I say. Uh, and then you've got your um, Halloween haunted house there. Absolutely love that one. And then the other one is another different kind of haunted house. And then you've got these pumpkins that stack on top of each other. I think they're absolutely lovely. You're getting that topper pad in there. So all those 15 sheets. And then you are getting the most amazing Halloween luxury foiled. Um, I need something to put these on really so you can see them a bit more clear. Oh, let me go and grab this pad because I can pop a piece behind it and you'll be able to see them. That's, well, that, is that better? Oh yes, look, we can see them a little bit better. Or can we, let's do the back. There we go. But so you've got all the ghosts on there. Turn it round. You've got sort of different colourings of them. Look how amazing they are. Now you're getting all these sheets. So you're getting your ghosts there. You've got your bats. So you've got all your bats and they're holographic on that side black bats on the other side absolutely love that one so you've got your three different effects there and then you've got your um different colors in your um spider's web look at that i mean that's amazing isn't it really amazing turn that round we've got it in green love that one absolutely amazing and then we've got another one there which is your black and then on the other side, you've got your silver. So you just sort of decide which ones you want to use. Um, this one, Jan, was what uh, Craig used to, for the light pad. He actually, st he actually drew it through the light pad, oh, traced, wow. yeah. traced the cobwebs. It was really clever. So yeah. I absolutely love that one. Um, then you've got your pumpkins. So you've got them again in that iridescent. Then turn them around. You've got them in the orange. Uh, you've also got them in the green and the silver. So turn them around that silver. And then you've also got those in the um, purple design. Look at that purple. Looks beautiful. Oh, we've got ghosts, more ghosts there. Hang on, we've got one stuck to the ghosts. There we go. The ghosts are getting in everywhere. Uh, you've got the purple in there and then you've got the white ones on the back, the iridescent ones on the back there. And then you've got the purple um, ones in there. So three different colours it looks like. Or you get six different colours but they're double sided so you just choose which colours you want to go for. You're getting all sheets of those. You're actually getting uh, 12 pieces, uh, 12 by 12, 380 microns in that. So, so that's a, good a way really good, good really good way. It's yeah. fab for making gift boxes and gift bags with such and a then good you way pop to make your them. goodies inside if you don't want people to see what they are pop them in a bit of tissue paper you could emboss your tissue paper all sorts of different ideas yeah absolutely well you're getting all of those so you're getting your acetate you're getting your um is it, oh we've got one oh look one piece only one piece didn't go back in the box don't it was always going to be it's one. Not them again, i it? thought i did quite well then um <laughs> yeah so you're getting your acetate sheets you're getting your topper pack and you're getting that 12 by 12 pad uh, for an amazing price because That's you're actually saving 18 pounds 97 uh 20 pounds 18 80 platinum price or 27 dollars 20. uh great deal that one i love a showstopper showstoppers i think we do like no others uh right we've got some other items to show you that we've got on the website the first one we're going to show you is the amazing pumpkin uh, this one is our festive pumpkin it means it's a dimensional um, sort of shape really that you can create uh, using these dies it's a fabulous one to have I absolutely love it $8.99 or $11.97 platinum price $7.19 or $9.58 you can make all sorts of little lanterns for your uh, home decor or send into someone uh, with that one it's amazing uh, the next one we have is our laser cut frames um, you're getting loads in here I can't remember exactly how many you're getting but you really are getting a lot of frames in there they're all MDF they're uncoated so you can literally use your ink pads on them you can heat and Bosch you can use the, your shimmer sprays whatever you want to put onto them color them in with your alcohol pens uh, we've got these today for $11.99 or $14.97 you're saving 40% on them it's a great deal you're also getting all the stamps with those that go in 
inside the actual frame so they all fit perfectly. There'll be a stamp for everybody on there. Uh, platinum price, £9.59 or $11.98. And then the last one we want to show you is our Halloween nesting die, which is our creepy bats. Um, amazing die. In fact, these went out that long ago and look at that price. Incredible value, £6.23. Platinum price or $7.18. Wow, lots of spectacular deals. Uh, head over to the website and you'll find lots more on there and see what we've got in our crafty event. Uh, we're going to take a short break, but we will be right back. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the products. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, it's the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brea's misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetate, stencils, glue guns, and templates, Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG, Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi, Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends, illustrators, classics and tri blends, and color blends, and glitter pens, and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators, envelopers, creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, lipid score and scoreboard. Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays, mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tack tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower form and foam. Alpine markers, DVDs, felt quick, triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft pads, press, sparkle pots, and churro pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water, reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away, dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate Pro and the rotating design board. Alter, but first, bump and keep your Sarah signature collections. And don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads. Think that's it. One final thing foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. I love that song. I just absolutely love it. I think everything about it. Nicola has to be my favourite in there. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. There's probably nothing like Nicola, but it's just a brilliant, um, brilliant how they've done it all and fitted everything in. Uh, right. Now we've got the little treat boxes back. Um, I love these. I mean, I think the fact that you've all been given ideas on what you can do different with them, creating all those different monsters, uh, creating all those um, sort of, uh, what is it, the Sesame 
street sort of characters uh, I absolutely love that but if you want to be doing your uh, traditional uh, Halloween spooktacular little makes uh, you've got your spider here your pumpkin and your black cat which I love uh, but that black cat can be any cat I mean that could be your brown cat your tabby cat your white cat uh, so lots of different things that you can do with them so love that one but it does come as well with your amazing uh, cardstock the linen cardstock is just great all these colors um, are going to make everything that you can see on these in fact the characters that are on hit the boards uh, have been made using this cardstock so you know that you're going to uh, guarantee you'll get all those uh, definite colors in your creation so that's our halloween treat box uh, with uh, our four and festive linen cardstock uh, platinum price today is 18 pounds 40 or 23 pounds 20 uh, we're going to go back over to jan who i believe has got a demo with these Oh, we got samples. Yeah, samples with these. I'm confused there. I'm sorry, guys. I think we, we sort of like, we skipped one, didn't we? But hey ho, I've got, I've just got the little treat boxes out again. It's getting late. Been up a long time. <laughs> but yeah, I've just got those little treat boxes out again, just to show you um, the concept behind it. But we were saying earlier, and uh, Lily and I were talking about it this morning as well, about how many different things you could make with these. So you've got the, um, the details to make the pumpkin there. You've got the little friendly spider who is so cute. And then you've got the little witch's cat. But again, I have just got a sample of the kitty cat one. When you replace it with this one, absolutely nothing spooky about it whatsoever. <coughs> so yeah, you could change any of these and make them into different characters using different colors. Uh, you can actually add little handles to the boxes if you want to absolutely go to town with them i just think they're very very cute and again absolutely great for, for crafting with the kiddies yeah they're very very cute susie's saying oh this is my favorite halloween pad so the pad we showed with the acetate it's kind of spooky and not too cutesy love 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 it uh, the b-side papers are just amazing as well yeah absolutely uh, kate uh, philippi is saying great uh, hint to tilt the paper on edibles i will use that a lot i love edibles and christine mahoney is saying i've just sent in my pics uh, from the studio for the craft along today uh, it was lovely you um, crafting along with us today yeah christine we'll have a look Let's see if we can dig out your picture. Uh, Mary Pat is saying stencils are awesome for creating scrapbooks uh, and backgrounds. Absolutely. Uh, Kim is saying I should use edibles more. Yes, definitely. Um, and uh, uh, Maya is saying he loves the Burberry pumpkins. Uh, they're plaid <laughs> pumpkins, Al. <laughs> Uh, Nora's saying uh, good evening to all my crafty friends from a very wet all day Whitby yeah not very nice at all um, and Candy is saying you can use the trees for other things and there's a few other items that can be used for other items such as the pumpkins for fall yeah absolutely I think uh, the great thing about um, Halloween items they can be used a lot throughout the year uh, right next we have our card of shaped bases which I absolutely love uh, you've been loving these and uh, they are absolutely just great to use uh, whether you use her on her own um, as a freestanding card or whether you use her as a topper whether you use just the hat the boots I mean everything there is just going to be amazing in fact I wish I had a pair of boots like that they look fabulous don't they Jan? <laughs> They're gorgeous on there I just think that that idea is just ingenious it is it really yeah is, it's absolutely yeah. lovely I love that one um, and then we've got the pumpkin and this is the one that Jan's going to do a demo with but I love the idea of this because you've got all those different sizes pumpkins you can literally cut them out of whatever color pads that you want to and they're going to look great i love the fact that you've got the little toppers but most of all all those sentiments are just incredible um, in fact look, i have to look at them to read them but we've got wishing you a harvest of happiness how nice is that uh, we've got autumn leaves and pumpkin please um, and then we've got uh, hey there pumpkin <laughs> uh, blessed um, and give thanks so some really oh. nice sentiments in there uh, so jan you've got a demo with this one i have yes and i think sort of moving away a little bit from halloween like you said there's harvest there's thanksgiving as well which the guys i think is next month over in the states so lots of different opportunities now these were designed as a shaped card and that's what i just wanted to show you if you've not come across that concept before tonight now i have actually put my decoration together and i'll talk you through that in a second but i wanted to concentrate on the card so you're getting 21 pieces in this one and then obviously there's the, uh, the the other one with the witch's hat as well but you can see here we've got a whole array you've got the outline to cut 
the large pumpkin, which is what we're actually going to use in a second. And then you've got all the other pieces. So you've got the other two pumpkins, you've got the one to make the sunflower, the pumpkin stalk, which has got some lovely embossed detail on it. So again, we've talked about this before, wherever there are open pieces in your dies here, so I've actually got open pieces with no cutting edge around them. These are worth popping through with your embossing mat to get that embossed detail on them. The same with the pumpkins. I've got a little tiny piece here that doesn't have any cutting edge around it. That's the bit that will work with your embossing folders. You can just see through the package in there where the, the little lines are. Uh, again, you've got it in the centre of the flower, uh, flowers here. So it does sort of pay to go that extra mile and just pop them through a second time with the embossing mat. If you're going to do that, though, remember to take out your magnetic shim. Please don't put them through together. It will mangle your embossing mat. Your embossing mat's the weakest link, and that's where the pressure will go. So, yeah, if you're embossing any kind of metal die, remove your magnetic shim before you pop it back through your Gemini. And then you can see we've got the leaves, we've got the flower centre, and I love these little scrolly bits that you find on the pumpkin stalks when you go picking them. And then together with that, that gorgeous stamp set that Deb has just, rang, uh, just read out, some lovely, lovely sort of sentiments in there. And then these two are to create the shaping on the actual pumpkin. They're made to fit. If you look at, if I this one, lay this one on here, you can see how they're actually made to fit to create the shaping for the pumpkin. So as I say, I'll talk you through what I've done with them with regards to the design, but I've just popped a piece of craft card and I've just cut it slightly bigger than the die. And what I'm gonna do is just take it over the edge of the, the fold. So I've got my fold at the top here, like a tent fold. And if I cut it out like this, I'm gonna get two pumpkin shapes. I want to keep the fold intact, so I'm just gonna take the top of the pumpkin away over the edge of the fold. And if I pop it on here, you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. So yeah, I've just got those top edges hanging off the edge of the card there, and then I'm going to tape it in place. And then we'll pass this through the Gemini. And again, I've got both layers of craft card there, but I know the Gemini can, uh, can deal with that. So pop that one in, pop our shims in, and then the Gemini will cut through. I know, have no doubt that it should cut through both of those layers together. Now, these are great for sort of scrap busting as well. I've talked many, many times about having all my textured cardstock cut-offs in a box, all in colour family, so that I can just delve in there when I need them. And this is a perfect, perfect opportunity. So if we take that one off here, and take my tape away. You can see there where it's actually done the die cutting, but it's kept that fold intact. So I'm just going to roll that tape away. There we go. All right, now you might say, well, it's chopped the top off the pumpkin, Janet. It doesn't look like a pumpkin anymore, but I'm, I'm going to address that in a second. But we've basically got the shape now with that fold at the top. So you've got your room inside to decorate, to add a sentiment, to write your message in whatever you want to do. And then what I did is I took that die again and I've started cutting into some of those mixed cardstock. So this was actually from the pack with all those beautiful fall and festive colours in. And then I sort of went into the card stash and I've got lots of different bits of card. You can see where I've cut the... Um, the sunflower out oh, here. Yeah. I've got some green bits that I've chucked the leaves into, um, different colours of the, you know, different shades of it, and just literally been in the scrap patch. Used a combination and just popped this together. Now I've also added, you can just see a little bit at the bottom here where I stamped those lines to create the, um, the edge. And what I did with that is what they call second generation stamping. So I've inked up my stamp with my water reactive ink stamped it off onto some scrap card and then stamped on here so it was a little i didn't want them to be too vivid just a suggestion that it's got that shaping in and then i've used one of my illustrator pens to just do that flicking technique at the top and the bottom to create some detail in there and i don't know whether we can get in on that top bit i'm going to challenge our james now to just come and have a look at the little stalk here he comes but can you just see 
the embossing on it, what we were talking about, where it's gone through the, uh, the die. So you've got those little pieces on there, and I think it's those little extra bits. You can see it comes across here, and then you've got some further down, just there. And I just think those little extra bits make all the difference there. So I've just cut a bit of everything. You can see we've got the, the larger leaves and the little oak leaves. Um, I've done one of the stamp, one of the sentiments. And just, you know, those little sort of twiny bits that stick around them. And what I'm going to do now is pop this on front of here and line it up. So the fact that there is a bit of that missing at the back is, is not going to show anymore. So I'm just going to take my all-purpose glue again. And I'm going to put it onto the card blank rather than the back of the pumpkin so that I know exactly where I need the glue. I'm just going to go onto the back of this one. And then just line these up at the bottom. Because we've used the die, I've got the same shape going on at the bottom there. Line them up. And you've got that perfect match. So we're going to allow the glue to dry. I use my glue gun and I can see a couple of those little hairy bits in there which are bugging me, but hey-ho, we're good. And then you've got your shape card. Leave the bits alone, Jan. <laughs> you've got that shape card that will stand. You've got that support behind it for the actual card blank. And if I just turn it sideways, you can see how that works. And then you've got all that beautiful detail using those dies, just to, you know, however you want to cut them, whatever. I just took a little bit of inspiration from the front of the packaging for my layout on them, but however you want to, to layer them up, absolutely still going back to the plaid paper, absolutely still love that idea. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think of it, but yeah, I'm going to give that one a go when I get home. But yeah, yeah that's absolutely. the little shaped ones. Love yep. that. So much you can do with them. I'm actually thinking of all the different concepts you could do with them as well, Jan. Maybe an easel card, yep. a fold-back card, you Absolutely. could fold back the, the yep. pumpkin. And I suppose you could just have it as a freestanding open side fold card as well as yep. uh, an open at the tent fold. Uh, love that. A great die to have in your collection. So if you want to be making those pumpkin dies. Um, I'm also thinking anyone that does any um, baking with uh, pumpkins after, the, um, after Halloween, uh, maybe quite a nice idea to write little recipe cards on the back of these big pumpkins as Ooh, well. Oh, that would look nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or you could even put your recipe inside, couldn't you? You could make them like this and actually yes. have your little recipe yeah. printed inside. Love that. And that would be then great for Thanksgiving where people make pumpkin pies Fabulous. and things. You could make yeah. all your little table settings with your pumpkins and write your little, uh, what they are inside. Maybe little cake toppers for the little pumpkins. Uh, so much you can do with them. I absolutely love them. So you're getting both of these in the collection uh, for platinum price £18.40 or £23.20. Uh, and that's your pumpkin one. And then you've got that witches one as well, which I just, it makes me smile every single time I look at that one so absolutely love that uh, right let's pop those away um, what we're showing next day the shimmer ink pads yes I love these are uh, these the, these are the normal silver ones so um, these are a great design love these ones shimmer ink pads you're getting 10 packs there uh, these were the first lot of shimmer inks that we uh, bought out and the first time we bought you those sort of teardrop shaped ink pads which are really ergonomical in the hand um, you've they're 40 pounds day off $65, uh, £32 platinum or $52. You're getting 10 pieces in there, uh, which is the full collection of those um, uh, shimmer ink pads. Okay, next we have pigment ink pads you know how i love a pigment ink pad um they're just you, me both. Uh, you love these as <laughs> well my favorite so, yeah. uh, so jan have you tried the new gold shimmer i haven't i've not <laughs> got my hands on them yet so I, these have always been my favourites. Yeah. I make no bones about it. I love the pigment ink pads, but I got the gold shimmer ones, and I think I might have a new favourite. Have you moved? Have you changed size? Well, I do love them, yeah. but if you haven't got the gold shimmer ones, you've got to have them. I need to get you've my got hands to on get those. Your hands I've not on got them. a set of those. They are absolutely amazing. I love them so much, but they do everything the pigment ink pads do. These are just your more chalky, so these are opaque and chalky. Yeah. They have amazing colours, uh, and we've got great collection i think here in our um, sort of spectacular deal uh, we've got our fryer brown so a really good one to have i know
know, um, Jan, you were going to use some of this in your uh, makes on your um, uh, craft along, wasn't you? Was it in the fryer brown? Uh, yes, on the one that I did at home, I'd actually use that to ink round the, round edge the edges. Bit, and yep. I used that one. That featured strongly in the, if you guys that watch the Craft Your Stash, when I did the explosion box, oh, I amazing. inked it to within an inch of its life because yeah. I wanted that vintage feel. Yes. So the fryer brown, in my opinion, is a really good one for making yeah. that vintage look. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a great colour and a really nice colour and goes perfect with the craft card. Uh, you've also got Oasis in that collection. That's the um, one that I used with the demo that I did on Wake Up Call. That oh, lovely amazing. pastel turquoise yes. colour. Yeah. yeah, such a great one to have. Uh, we've got our Bordeaux as well. So that's that deeper red colour, which is incredible. We've also got an orange in there. I feel like we've put these together for a reason, these colours. We've then got our pink tulip, our plum jam, which is one of my absolute favourites. I love the plum jam. Really, really lovely colour. Uh, we've then got the misty morning. We've also got the dams and wine. And then the last one in that collection is our spring meadow, which is that gorgeous pop of zesty green. So all those sort of colours that are going to um, work really well with all your Halloween makes. Uh, right, let's have a look and see if we've got any more comments. Um, we've got uh jane adams is in saying hello from las vegas uh, hello jane um you by uh, expressions by candy saying these pumpkins and leaves would work um even better um for a full creation yes absolutely uh, gold shimmer yes someone's <laughs> saying there yeah um and nana jan you need to get your hands on the new shimmery watercolor palettes I've, oh that's the other one that's on my uh, wish yes. list yes i've started making a christmas list and I've got those lovely palettes so on there. So I've just got them. Oh! I haven't used them yet, but I've got them down at Hobby Maker next week, I yeah. think, or the week after. Um, so yes, I, I literally cannot wait. I haven't used them yet. Uh, we can't wait to see what you make with those um, and the gold shimmer ink pads. Yeah, they're right up your street, Jen. You're going to absolutely I love, love those anything gold shimmer. Anything to do with colour, particularly yes. the inks and everything. Yeah, yeah I can't uh, wait. There, there's something very special. If you've not got your hands on the gold shimmer ink pads, they are on the website because they are something very special about them. They've got that amazing colour, so whether it's the green, blue, purple, pink, and then they've got, as you turn them, they just have this shimmer of gold that going through them. Oh, in it, yeah. So lovely. Uh, right, we thought we'd get a nice early, so Susie's on, she'd be proud of me, Susie, <laughs> uh, getting the vote in early. Uh, we've got two uh, projects to uh, choose from, oh, three. What's the third one? Oh, oh your card, this, Jan. Do we want the little one that we've just it made? It will automatically go in because it's your only yeah. make that you've made, yes. Yes, yeah, so um, little bag right, just so you if we to start the off, together. Absolutely, let's give them a number. So we'll start off with number one, which was from Wake Up Call. Uh, so number one was uh, Jan's box. I love these boxes. They're super easy to make, but they're really effective, aren't they? It's just one of those that you think, you know, last minute detail, what can I do? And they're so quick to pop together. As I say, if you want to add the decoration, it may take a few minutes longer. Mm -hmm but the box itself you can knock up in seconds yeah. yeah amazing i love it and what i also love about this box it's adaptable so if you fold it in your size you can then put a lid on it can't yes, you, you just absolutely. fold in the size yep. so it's yep. a great box to have and a really fun one for your halloween treats in there so that's number one number two was that amazing tissue box uh, which really is i mean that is amazing i love it it looks really professional it looks like something you would buy at a boutique store honestly it's amazing so one two and jan you Yours is number three. Just did, yeah, we just did a very quick one with the little shape card with the pumpkin there. We'll pop that one in as number three because it's yeah. been more technique based during the craft vault. So, yeah. Uh, absolutely yeah. so one two or three uh, so get your votes in for those ones okay the halloween uh, gift bag pad um is proving very popular and i'm not surprised because i think if you've already done your treat bags for this year uh, is one to get for next year it's a great one to have it literally is um little treat bags that you just pull out literally so you literally take one out um, you fold all the score lines in, they're double sided so each one comes with another side to it so whether you want the plain one at the front or the pattern one at the front you choose so if you want to give one where the pattern's on the inside and you want one uh, that isn't too patterned um, that one's a great one for you but you're getting all these different designs uh, which you're going to love and you're going to choose um, whichever one you want as you go through so just showing you all those beautiful prints 
I love that one. It's actually one of my favourites. Um, such a lovely one to do. And then we've got a next one. Look at that, that pumpkin. That almost looks like, I keep thinking that looks like a wintry, as if it's snowing and pumpkins are in the snow. Yes. It's got that it's, look to it. Yeah, hasn't it's it? got that frosty look to it, hasn't it? Um, and then we've got the one here, which is our ghosts and uh, great sort of like um, tombstones. Um, then we've got our. Um, isn't it funny how like we think it's a great time of year being scared? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tomorrow night, Jan, I'm going to a spooky school that's been set up as like one of these scare fests Ooh. where people chase you and like monsters come out and grab oh, you. Oh no, and... I couldn't cope with that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a I'll let you know next there. week what it was no, like. No, no. I, can't, I can't even do the ghost train at the fair. Oh, I'm actually, I'm quite oh. excited. You're not allowed to, um, someone's been using that, look, all the tags have gone from that page. Um, yeah, someone was, uh, people have said it's just absolutely brilliant, but very scary. Oh, um, no, 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 But no. Ben was telling me that he went to one a few years ago and one fright in the life out of him that he punched him. <laughs> <laughs> He said it was just his natural reaction and he punched him in the stomach. So, well, you're not allowed to touch the ghosts and ghouls and everything else. So, um, so yeah, tomorrow night I'm going to go and be scared. We're not going until 10 o'clock at night and it's in a school and there's oh, different sets. Oh, heavens above now. Oh, yeah. I've got goosebumps just and thinking you, Yeah, about you have that. to walk around and there's people that deliberately go out of their way to scare you and oh, chase no, you. No, and, no, no, uh, no, yeah. no, no, I can't I'm cope with that. <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat, really. Scaredy cat. <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway, you've got some samples. Over I've there, just Jan. put one or two of those little bags out again. Yeah, I just think so, so simple to do and very effective when you pop them together. If you were watching earlier in the show, I just put one of these together. It took one line of glue from my tape runner and then folded the bottom in together. So if you want to have a look, if you're not sure how they work, once we finish, you can re-watch the show. In the first half of the show, the first hour, we did a very quick demo on how to put them together. And then, as I say, decorating as you wish. So adding some of the die cuts, you can use the Decapart's topper pay pad if you've, if you've bought into that one. If you bought the embellishment kit, I just think it's even more spooky. It looks I very realistic that. with the little <laughs> die cut spiders in there as well. Oh, and brilliant. then this is the one I turned mine inside out and used the planar side. And this is the one that we decorated during wake up call this morning. So I've got the pattern inside plain aside and then the elements on there are from the all, uh, all hallows eve collection made my I own little that. gift tag there and just some die cuts from the collection in the black silhouettes is that um black cauldron it looks glittery have you put glitter on there? it's actually got a uh, little little um, dew drops in it just to make it look as ah. if the cauldron's bubbling over oh that looks so cool yeah yeah so just the little clear cool. ones as if it looks as if there's there's some hubble bubble here comes trouble going on. <laughs> yeah. I love that. What a great way uh, to use those All Hallows um, Eve kits, which is amazing. Uh, you're getting 72 sheets in this uh, in this pad, uh, all for £10.19 or £17.95. Although your platinum price is £8.15 or $14.36. Uh, right, something else we haven't shown you tonight, and this is something that I absolutely love. I know this has been around before, but I'd never seen it before. Um, and I think these are just amazing so the heat tool itself um, is a great heat tool and actually I'm going to pass this across to Jan because Jan I know that you always use your own heat tool and then we got this one um, and you love it don't you well the reason behind that Debbie was that my little old heat tool passed away right so I think it was at Christmas last year it just excuse the pun gave up the ghost <laughs> I <laughs> love it but yeah and I was gutted absolutely gutted yes. it had created got a personality of its own here at crafters tv Johnny couldn't do a show without it he just got to the case Jan's got a heat tool again turn it on turn it on and <laughs> honestly it just literally it had been repaired once and then last Christmas it literally just off it went <laughs> and I was ready for renewing it when not long after that yeah. we brought out our own and to be honest I haven't needed to renew it purely because and I think one of the big things on there mm. I have one of the directional heat tools I've had it a very long time yeah. but it only had one setting on it yeah. and it was fast yeah and it was intense and it used to blow my embossing powder everywhere and yeah. I was like what on earth is the point 
the fact that this has got two settings on it and it's got that very gentle setting yep. on it compared with the little gentle one that I used to use mm -hmm. here at Crafters TV. So yeah, I didn't replace the old one. It's not being made anymore. And I've had lots of people contact me and say, what was the make of it, Jan? Where did you get it from? It's not actually being made anymore. Right. That's how long I must have had it probably a good... 12 14 oh, years wow. yeah, and years. it lasted it did a long time and yeah. it was well loved it was mm -hmm. melted in places and all sorts <laughs> yeah but not making it anymore so i had got one in mind that i was going to replace it with but i haven't bothered i use that one i've got that plugged in at the side of yeah. my desk it's within reach so that it can come up onto the desk mm -hmm. when i need it lower setting for doing the more gentle things yeah. once your powder if your heat embossing has started to melt flick it up onto the higher setting and you can zoom around that melting it yeah. works perfectly but oh, then amazing. i wouldn't have expected anything less alian does her homework she knows what we're all looking for as yep. craft experts doesn't she absolutely and it's perfect yeah, Absolutely. she really does. And I knew Jan would be the best person to tell you about it because, yeah, we all use them. It's a great one. It's just nice to have our branded it ones. Is. Uh, it's white, it's purple, it's beautiful, and it works really, really well. And as Jan said, having those two settings is great. Now, not only are you getting that, this is the thing that really wowed me because I just think this is ingenious stuff. Uh, you're actually getting four of these blocks. Um, and what these blocks are, they may look like a bit of foam or, and I'm not asking you to go and clean anywhere this is like literally molding material so basically you use this on the high setting and you literally heat it up uh, you make it quite hot and then you can push this into anything so if you've got your um, let's say you've got a key you might want your key uh, embossed into that you literally press it into your key or whatever you've got at hand you then can ink this platform and stamp with it, it becomes a stamping block of whatever you put onto it you might have some scrunched up foil you can do the same with that and if you want to keep that imprint on there you just leave it and it will stay there forever if you want to take it away all you do is reheat it and it puts it back to its normal form as well so I think that's absolutely brilliant and I know it seems really strange because you sort of think Jan well, why would we need to stamp out different patterns oh, again, but it makes a big difference doesn't it things. you know mm -hmm. I'm always talking about backgrounds and making backgrounds sometimes I have afternoons where I just make backgrounds yep. and this is another one of those products that you find yourself going around the house yes. what else can I take an impression of what else can I stamp into and great again for the kiddies yeah um, I've actually used these and you know sort of like nature things you know we've been on nature trails where we've found acorns and things like that yep. and you can actually take an impression of it yes so that when they get back they can stamp it I know um, my Vanessa started making a journal for Toby so that when he was out doing the nature walks and things, he could document it. We realised he was a little bit young at the time, but it's something she plans to implement when he gets a bit older. Yeah. So being able to stamp those images and then he maybe writes something That's as amazing. he gets a bit bigger of what it was and where he found it. Yep. Absolutely perfect. But yeah, you sort of go around and it's like, what else can I do? Yes. What else can I do? You know? I know, and there's so many. I know when we launched it, we had the little pad with all the That's different right, textures, yep. bubble wrap, buttons, like yep. you say, the keys. Uh, nails and screws that kind yes. anything yeah, absolutely, absolutely anything that's got some form yes you can press that that foam into mm. and take a, a, a texture off absolutely. it absolutely and actually you saying about nature i remember leaves being done as yes. well so you get that texture of the leaves and yep. you can stamp them even an embossing folder you can turn yep. into a stamp because if you place this onto your heat it up put it onto your embossing folder you can then stamp that image onto your uh, background so absolutely amazing i love these blocks you're getting four of those in there plus your heat tool for 20 $29.98 or a uh, platinum price of $23.98 uh, and $29.52 so that's a great one to go for if you're in the market for a new heat gum uh, now the other thing that we're going to be bringing back to you this evening uh, is our embellishments so uh, which are fabulous uh, like Jan said I think if you were to take this uh, these fibers out it would stretch a long long way uh, it's a very strange fiber um, but it really does stretch and you only need a little and you you don't this is not just for Halloween this is for all your snow this is for your um, princesses party where you put those little bits onto things it can be so many different things to decorate with but it looks amazing as cobwebs um, and uh, scary stuff that you put on top of all your decorations so I absolutely love that it, uh, if you've not tried fibers before at uh, the price it's at today which is incredible you can see that price value you're saving over 40% uh, you're getting these platinum price for five pounds sixty or eight 
$8. And also your uh, glitters. I think to have your glitters, you'd be paying that just for your glitters. To have your fibres on top of that is amazing. Uh, you're getting big pots of these glitters and they have the sprinkle end on them as well. So when you open one side of the lid, you can sprinkle it out rather than it coming out as a big pot. So I think that's great. You're getting your black glitter. And it's quite rare actually to see black glitters. You don't see a lot of them, do you? Mm -hmm. I was quite pleased when I saw that because you can find the white or the iridescent glitter yep. and you can find colours with yes. the golds and the silvers yep. and things but yeah the black's not as easy to come by and it Absolutely. is so so sparkly yes. as well mm -hmm. when you actually pop it on and it dries it really has got a yeah. sparkle to it yeah so again I've just pulled one or two of the samples out of the box that we've got here so those fibres are like the gift that keeps on giving because the more you unravel it the more of it you seem to have so it comes in a box what is it about a just over six inch square box Debbie do you reckon uh, but yeah the amount that's in there just goes on forever and you can see you only need a tiny tiny little bit you can just see on there where we've got the cobwebs this has actually been taken from the 3d topper pad don't be afraid to embellish those they are a paperweight topper but you can see here where we just added little accents with that glitter on just to add a little bit more detail popped a die cut in the background it may be again that you're wanting to make little sort of hanging decorations if you're having a, a halloween party or anything like that again using that topper pad down at the bottom there a few of the little cobwebs and again i just use my glue gun with this to seal it so i pop it instead of trying to put it onto the fiber i'd pop a little bit of glue onto the project and then just pull this over the top of it and if you are wanting to flatten it with anything use something that's made of silicon to just flatten it and then it won't stick to it Amazing. again bringing those glitters in again the sparkle on this is stunning so you can see that black yeah. glitter i just think it looks like night sky yeah isn't it? maybe amazing. not out there tonight but uh, <laughs> in general you've got all those little stars sparkling it is really really sparkly and then we've just put some of the uh, the white one on the the butterflies there so again that's just done on a little wood slice as a decoration but again taking it away from that you know I think this one's great. So using it as the froth on the beer tankard there, if you're wanting to do a, a celebration, a birthday, an anniversary, a retirement, anything like that. Again, I don't have any samples of it for Christmas, but using it for snow, using it for Santa's beard, things like that. It's, there's no end to it as to how you can incorporate this absolutely gorgeous Jan that's just reminded me so um, I know our UK viewers wouldn't have seen it yet but in uh, HSM we've just bought out a new collection to HSM which is coming very soon here and it's all to do with drinks so you could use those fibres on there huh? mm. Fabulous. looks amazing I love that yeah absolutely beautiful designs um, Rhonda is singing Halloween is coming Halloween is coming <laughs> big black cat bats and big black bats Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> uh, demo of the day goes to number two of course it goes to number two that amazing box another construction piece another uh, craft along that's one uh, that will go on the shelf at the end of the week it's going to be a very uh, tough one to call uh, Kim is saying uh, it will be more hello scream than Halloween <laughs> where I'm going um, Susie saying the secret of that heat tool um, he didn't think uh, is it that it was so quiet um, and he didn't uh, ever think that she turned it on. Yeah. <laughs> that was our Johnny. Johnny had a um, yeah. had it. Oh, had uh, no oh Johnny had a funeral it. for it. Oh, I think we should. Yeah, we should have had a few. I haven't. I have brought this. I've still got it under the desk. I can't bring myself to throw it away. Yeah, it's still it's in a box under the desk. I'm like, oh dear, I need to say a few words over it. Oh. Uh, right, we've got a couple of photos being sent in. Christine is sent in her fabulous uh, tissue that. box. Now she's decorated it with her flowers uh christine it was such a pleasure That's to have you in with us colorway as well isn't, isn't it, it gorgeous yeah. yeah it just shows you it doesn't matter how you uh, what papers you use on it or how you create it it's going to look amazing that is beautiful christine and thank you for crafting along with us uh, linda sent in an amazing star card that's spectacular it isn't absolutely it? is it's yeah. beautiful absolutely 
beautiful I we love, love that one that. linda yeah it's stunning and a real labor of love i would have thought ah uh, patty you've had that same idea she's that. used the plaid pad on this i absolutely love that they look amazing how cute are completely they completely different it just throws it into a completely different realm doesn't it with those little papers on there that is gorgeous ah uh, they're absolutely beautiful yeah. and lynn and gaz who had lunch today and a catch-up what a lovely photo uh, you two look so happy thank you for sending that photo in it's so lovely to see your smiley faces i love it when we put names so, i mean we've seen gaz on the craft along we've seen lynn before uh, thank you for uh, showing your lovely uh, smiley faces lynn we will see you here on sunday you've got the craft along uh, on sunday with i think lily's going to be in with becky uh, so you'll be in with those two then so it'd be great to see you thank you for sending me photos thank you susie on social thank you team in the gallery uh, Thank you, Jan, uh, for just an amazing day. You're spectacular You're as lovely. always. Our paths have crossed again. Yes, <laughs> yeah. so well. it's been so nice. Uh, when are you next back? Uh, my next visit will be on the 9th of November, and I have another November. craft along that day. Yes, amazing. So watch this space. Oh, lovely. Uh, we're going to look forward to that. Well, I'm going to head off home, but I will be back next Thursday and Friday, uh, and I will see you very soon. So have a good evening, whatever you're up to. Goodbye.